Hello everybody, today we're going over Dead Blog 22, as it's just been released, about an hour ago actually. Just hadn't realised, I was working on my coordinate system. Alright, let's get into it. So, finally, obviously Dead Blog 22, and they show a lot off. I think. Besides all this machinery. And, by the looks of it, we get train digging. Or at least some form of train digging. The new plasma drill. I think they also try to pun here. <laughs> Very hidden one. As uh, yeah, next image is contains a lot of cracked rock. Rock. So by the looks of it, the new cave systems will have rock which has cracks in it, and we're gonna be able to dig for it. I think. So it's gonna be a sign. So we'll see what plasma drills in use here, and chemical trainer, and the sticky wheels. Now, chemical container is quite important, and we'll see why in a sec. Obviously, you've got multiple GIFs, little bits of videos. This one's on there on the wall. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if one of them's up on the ceiling. But we actually also get caves, not just regular caves, be small, large ones. As you can see, the train here is also unchanged. Look at this train here. So no cracks in it, and also there's cracks in this one. So I'm assuming this is places where you can mine, and then these are just gem made. So you won't be able to dig throughout the entire map, type thing. Which is, I think, is a good idea. Not be able to dig through the entire map because the players would just dig a hole straight to a point and all that, which would be a bit of fun. Right now, under the great machinery, which you can find down here now. So there's a lot. There's a lot going on in this image. Stars, it's just a lot. <laughs> so obviously, there's all these in levels and that within this facility, and uh, yeah, obviously here. It looks like we have bridges, so uh, I'm assuming one be over here, one be over there, and they're putting back and forth all the time. And be careful not to fall. Now we get introduced to something called a freight battery here. It's interesting. Drains over time, so it's limited time from this machine. I'm assuming I'm not sure that machine is located. I would guess it was this, or this does something, I think. As also we see this, it's that model when we do the packing stations. That's where the crates come out of. But obviously we get some sort of something out of this, but this appears to be somewhere else anyway. I think, considering that this is facing downwards, that's just facing sideways. Now, by the way, this is just concept, so it could be different as well. We also get recharge pads, by the looks of it. So, those will be handy. If it's about to die, you can quickly find one of these, you can charge up. And then there are these places here, by the looks of it, which ha also has those pads, but has no entry. By the looks of it, through the other way. Or was one way, or maybe it needs power. Maybe what the freight battery is for. You need to power this up to allow you to get past. Anyway, new chapter comes with a brand new island, a house housing a huge collapsed mine, and a massive mystery. Which is going to be very interesting. The new location will get to explore, uh, that will get you to. Uh, that you'll get to explore will contain a lot of new content and underground biomes. So, game mobile biomes, by the sound of it. Once in, you have to create a mining vehicle and start digging for resources while uncovering small and large cave systems. Some parts of the mines will require special types of drill to get past. In some cases, explosive will be needed. So, it's not just drills. By the sound of it, you'll eventually get to a point where you might need to bring a large explosive or small explosive with you to actually get past. And obviously, the bigger your vehicle is, probably more explosives you're going to need for a bigger hole to get through. That's the other thing to consider. So, we actually get used for explosives other than uh, blowing the farm boss up. Or just rock nodes. Yeah. You put a lot of work in the main vehicle digging into a fun and creative experience. Obviously up there it digs to a big hole to stand those two, I think. So that's nice to see. 
Here's a few shots showing underground digging and exploration in action for the first time. But that let me up there. Keep in mind these shots don't have the correct line and particles yet. So I'm assuming by that is like when you're in here, maybe it'll be a bit of dust, maybe you're mining. But for now it's just plasma gel going ham on drain. As you can see here, and those two bits there do a decent circle around them, or area around them to dig through. Yeah. Now if you come down to here, we get under sticky wheels. So the thing to note is obviously the chemical containers there. Also a little sign here. Don't really know where all these pipes go. I'm assuming these just go from the chest and all that. So the chest goes into the fuel the battery canister, that's what's there. You see that another shot, and obviously chemical drain is up there. But if, if you look on this side, I think that's the gas tank. Also get another chemical container right there actually. Well, it's interesting to see these containers actually uh, plumbed. Don't know if that's suggesting that maybe we'll be able to put stuff in a storage test and it'll plumb like fuel to a fuel container. Might be would really be nice to see. My flying vehicle could really use it. <laughs> but yeah, sticky wheels are uh, by the looks of it gonna make it so any obstacle is a breeze. And yeah. As you can see here, literally straight up side of the building. And over. Nothing. Obviously, you need to be careful. By the looks of it, if you're on certain angles, you might whip a tire off, which also won't be good for traction reasons. So you need a bit of mind. Here we get a lot wide shot of the entire facility, which we'll find underground. As you can see here, appears to be a little opening there. Maybe it's a bridge cross, way down. Appears to be a tunnel further back that way, and yeah, a bit hard to see right there. Update on sticker wheels. We really love how they turned out. They work really well and and have nice gooey look when you drive, which is, to be honest, very honest. Uh, no wait. Uh, yes, they look amazing. <laughs> There's all the goo coming off of them. <laughs> They will mostly have a pink purple colour goo by default instead of yellow green showing a gif. That'll be a bit sad, but then again it makes sense considering that they will use chemicals as a resource. So another use for chemicals, not just for concrete. Only one gonna be think off the top of the head. Concrete batteries use them. So I don't know. Actually no, I'll stay quiet about that. Uh, but we test them out so we'll get the perfect balance between consumption and use time. So you're going to want to bring chemicals in this update, especially if you get sticky wheels. Nothing on where they you get sticky wheels from, if they're crafted or a uh, boss drop, I think. And here's everyone's little favourite cable bots. I don't know if they're going to be your favourites or not. <laughs> Just from the look of how many will come at you at once in this. <laughs> Obviously, the person using the regular spud gun, and by the looks of it, it's one shot. That's so hard to tell. Maybe, I don't know if they hit, the, it looks like they hit the ground there a little bit. But it's probably at least one or two shots, I think. And obviously, they'll go off your vehicles, if you're not careful. They'll even clamp onto your vehicle. I think the ones, yes, yeah, down here. This is them clamping and then slowly braking. So just running, just driving through them will not be good enough to, to essentially save yourself. If they clamp to your vehicle, they're coming with you. And they're going to slowly brake stuff. For example, your engine, you probably don't want that to brake. Also here we can see that's where the battery container is. I think. I was curious. You can also see it's plumbed. Though now I think about it, that pipe ain't actually lighted up. Or lit up. Because normally when they're plumbed... It'll be blue here, so I don't really know what's going on there. And I'm assuming the way a chemical container will work is obviously get connect 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 all out, and you just pull it to the wheels. I'm assuming. I look at it, obviously there's no direct connections here. Yeah. Cable bolts are really starting to stay up. Buried deep underground in collapsed mines, these clankers come in great numbers, attacking both you and your creation on site. Sometimes they may, might latch onto your creation and gradually eat away at it. So you'll have to be careful. So if you drive through them, check your underside and all that. If you 
think you got rid of them, you might find there's actually one on the suspension or something for your wheel. Or just underneath on like an important connecting part of your entire vehicle. And to break that, it could split in half. Though I don't know why your vehicle would have one beardy like that exactly. Unless it's a flyer. Flyers tend to be tight light in that in survival. So, yeah. Other times, they might simply leech off your battery or fuel resource. So they will eat... <laughs> <laughs> They'll eat your gas and batteries, which you'll obviously need to power your vehicle. So they might even, if you're low on it, they might even just take the leftovers and leave your entire vehicle immobilized. Better stop them off your creation before they start piling up. That's when they're going to do some real damage. Obviously then, if there's a bunch on it, there's a lot constantly attacking it, it all adds up. Now this is probably one of the things I'm mostly excited for now. <laughs> so see, it looks like it's some sort of gemma, big red burn, red red like leather on the side. This is probably one of the most useful things. You can see there, there's actually a little slot here, and the slot over here is also on full. If you look closely, you'll notice it's actually a battery container. And what this does is generate batteries. Which is quite nice. Previously, they took glow poop and chemicals and tier 1 metal, I think it was. I think it was tier 1 metal to make. So it made them try expensive and you could either get them rarely from crates or as a drop from tape box at times. Electric engines and other things requiring batteries, which is an interesting thing. Other things. Currently, my knowledge is only electric engine and a few crafting recipes. Like the battery container needs batteries and the, the engine itself. Other than that, I don't think anything else needs batteries. So, so interesting to mention other things. Don't know if that's possibly hinting. It might not. It might be me thinking this, taking this too seriously and thinking too much about it. But yeah, requiring batteries will be very useful during your time underground. And when you're in need of batteries, there's nothing more useful than a battery generator. Simply place a battery container inside it, spin the red valve, which is a bit here, and the battery charger will generate new batteries. You will spin manually by hitting the valve with your hammer. But if you rather save time and not waste as much food and water, that I think, I'm just hitting it, you can also create a gas engine powered arm that will spin the valve for you, which means. You can turn gas into batteries. The thing I'm curious about, does this have a certain requirement? Or could you just put a controller on this and spin it? Which will generate infinite power, essentially. To be honest, I think controllers should really use batteries. <laughs> <laughs> it gets to the point where you can do a lot of stuff. Just controllers and have it use no fuel. But yeah, that's one thing I'm thinking I'm going to try instantly. <laughs> See if I can hook a controller up to it and make batteries out of nothing. Yeah. Anyway, where was I? We plan to introduce more interactive parts in the future with new and creative ways to interact with like this one. We can't wait to see how these types of parks will spark your creativity. I'm also curious because could you use the battery container or is it like when it's if it, you put it in there it will not have a connection and you have to take it in and out and swap like swap it with another one for example. I'm actually curious because you have to swap it you have to reconnect it to the engine now. Now, one thing a lot of people think I've been waiting for, digital signs. Digital signs, there's three sizes, oh, smalls here, mediums here, and a large. Obviously, the height's the same, which is two blocks, you can tell from the background. This is uh, like the concrete brick, not concrete brick, stone brick. And that's two. So this one here is three. Uh, that's five, because the chest is five as well. And that's obviously eight, you combine the two. Combine the five here and the three here because the same. You put it down. So yeah, got a range of signs. You put any text on them, help work out what what's where and that. Wedge can update <laughs> or just wedge update. We'll see. Get a nice shout to wedge gang. Got a lot of requests about adding wedges, and we're trying to find a good way of inventing them. So here's a update on what they have so far. Problem has been wedge scaling and removal on survival is a different system from the simple block scaling, but we'll keep testing things out and hopefully 
we'll find a good way that works in survival. The wedges will be included in the next chapter. That's nice to hear. As you can see here, obviously this one has a bit of a weird, bit of a weird film over it. But you can see here, just simply put out. It's nice to see we actually see a bit of gameplay footage. Interestingly, look on the second one. He actually goes in all 3D dimensions. So it goes, goes along, goes up, but also goes to the white, which is interesting. You can't do that with blocks. So just an interesting thing to note from the little, little bit of gameplay here. Which is interesting. Now we have got a new item here. Along with some concept art. Well actually it's sort of concept right here. But we got a plasma saw. You didn't see it was blow yet. The saw will be sharp enough to go through trees like butter and even cut through crystal rocks. So we got a new rock coming as well. But why it's up there, the plasma saw can be used to boost the creation's defense against those pesky bots. Now if you look at where like this centerpiece, which is saw on the current saw, it looks like it's probably gonna be about the same size, I think. As a current saw, which means you should be able to hop top it. But yeah, it's gonna be amazing this is. And Sound, sound of it going to be very effective as it's going to boost defense in your creations. Also, you got this guy who looks like he's had a bad day and just lost half his mustache and his hat. He's also got the radio, which you see, which is interesting. And what I'm assuming is a baby walk, a very sad one. I'm assuming possibly bots have killed the parent. Which is a bit sad. But it's obviously crying about something. NBCs, the next chapter will feature new NBCs that you'll get to interact with. Here's a first look at two of them. Fancy Tuxedo, a new outfit time. This time we are taking a break from all the work were and decided to make a stylish tuxedo instead. Just the thing for mechanics you want to venture in style. Boy, you like this? I guess you can wear it. <laughs> when it comes, you can get it. As usual, all parts of the seal can be mixed and matched with other outfits for even more awesome outfit variation. Are there any other types of outfits you'd like to see more of in Scrap Mechanic? Let us know in the comments. So if you want to see, see more, uh, just comment for the G. Assuming it means down down here. That's all for now, mechanics. We hope that you have enjoyed looking at all the things that have been work that has been working on. We would like to add that we are still looking into ways we can improve the physics and decrease lag more. See you next. See you in the next dev block. So this is very exciting. So we got two new enemy C's. I was expecting one. I wasn't expecting two. But then just make a note here. It says few enemy C's. Here's a look at. at Two of them, which is a good success. There's possibly a third along with that. I really feel bad for Sky. <laughs> just, just his other mustache has just been like completely off, straight taken off. Yeah, he's got binoculars. <laughs> he's got binoculars and a radio. So he's only walking us through a process, possibly a fix tank, possible theory for her out there. Yeah, it's nice to see a plasma vent on the saw though. I'm really curious if this means that we're going to be exploiting the possibility of infinite batteries. Would it even be possible to have put a battery, <laughs> electric engine here, spin it, but make batteries more faster than you're using? That'd be that'd be any more than curious thing to test actually first. Infinite power. And yeah, that's all for today. Uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.